Have you ever heard the expression, what gets measured gets managed? Or my personal favourite is, if you don't measure it, you don't want it. Today we're going to be looking at the three numbers you simply must be keeping track of if you want to increase your sales. These numbers are important because unless you're measuring them, you won't know where to begin to improve them. And improving these three numbers will always lead to making more money in your business. So stop throwing mud on the wall and hoping something will stick. Start measuring these three numbers and start growing your sales strategically. I want you to meet Vanessa. Vanessa is a health coach and she's going to help us understand these three numbers by giving us a little bit of an insight into what she's been up to this week and how she's measuring these three numbers. Thank you, Vanessa. Number one, the first thing you need to be measuring is the number of sales conversations you have. This week, Vanessa's had five coffee dates with people she met at networking events who expressed interest in her service. She also gave away three one-on-one -on -one sessions through a voucher that she created. And she's had two people contact her on Facebook to help them keep their New Year's resolution of losing 10 kilos. That means Vanessa's had 10 sales conversations this week. Well done, Vanessa. In a spreadsheet, you will enter the names of all of the people you had sales conversations with. Number them clearly so it's easy to see how many you got. This is what Vanessa's spreadsheet looks like. Step number two. In the next column, put a zero if they didn't buy from you and a one if they did. At the end of the week, you can work out what your total number of sales were as well as your conversion rate. Your conversion rate is simply the number of sales you made over the number of conversations you had expressed as a percentage. If you are not used to using Excel, here's a simple formula for you. Number of sales over number of people times 100 equal your conversion rate. Vanessa's would look like this. Two sales over 10 conversations times 100 equals 20%. Vanessa's conversion rate is 20%. Congratulations Vanessa! That's a great conversion rate for someone who's never done any sales training. Step number three. In the next column, enter the dollar value of what each of those sales were worth. Vanessa gives her clients three ways to work with her. They can buy her book for $29, they can sign up to her group detox program for $1,500 or they can do three months one-on-one -on -one coaching where she helps them lose the last 10 kilos for $2,000. Of the two people who bought from Vanessa this week, one bought her book for $29 and one signed up to lose the last 10 kilos for $2,000. So Vanessa's total sales for the week is $2,029. She'll put that in her spreadsheet, but we don't want to stop there. Vanessa wants to know what the average dollar value of every sale she makes is. To work this out, we use the simple formula, dollars made over number of sales. In Vanessa's case, that would be $2,029 over two sales, which gives her an average of $1,014.50 for every sale she made. Now, Vanessa has measured the three most important numbers to grow her sales. She has number one, the number of conversations she had, number two, her sales conversion rate, and number three, the average dollar value per sale. Now you may ask, how does knowing these three things help me increase my sales? It's simple. You now have three things you can measure, control, and influence. So you can stop throwing mud on the wall and hope something sticks and instead be more strategic about where you're going to improve to grow your sales. Vanessa can make more money in her business by influencing any one of these three numbers. She can generate more leads and increase the number of sales conversations she's having or she could work on her sales skills so that she improves her conversion ratio or she can focus on selling more of her higher end packages so that she increases the average dollar value per sale. Three ways to make more money. Whichever one she chooses to work on, when she improves, 
she makes more money. And it all starts by measuring a few simple numbers. To help you get started with measuring your sales outcomes, I've created a simple template for you. You can download it by clicking on the link below and feel free to share it with anyone else you think might benefit from using it. As always, I love to hear your thoughts and comments, so please share them with me. And if you love this video, share it with another woman who shines so that she can benefit from it as well. And remember, this is your time to shine. Come on. Fuck! <laughs> 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 These cables everywhere.